Hi guys, this is Shamrandi from Providence Life Design and I'm shooting this video because it's actually a retake. <laughs> I did this and I have it and I can't seem to get it up online. So anyway, one day that rescue will come. Um, this video is about personal style and how to find personal style for your home, okay? And the important tips to kind of help you facilitate the finding, okay? Um, first, it starts with how do you want to use your space? Keep your space as clear as possible or utilitarian, okay? So, if your space just has everything on the countertop, it must mean that it's everything that you're going to be using for the next couple of days, okay? Um, if it is uh, just stuff like, oh, you just keep mulling over it. It's old mail from three, six months ago. Tear it and put it in the garbage. Everybody has their own opinions about shredding and all of that. So if that's what's holding you down, then you need to find a way to rig it up and have a shredder in your kitchen area, wherever it is that you're dumping these mails, okay? Um, because if you do not make it important to keep your space useful for everything it needs to be for you, you're not allowing your space to do everything it needs to do for you, okay? So, personal experiences, um, if my kitchen is too junky, and I have dishes that are just like not in the dishwasher or I don't know, you don't have a dishwasher, it's just sitting in the sink for days. It's like I'm not inspired to come home and cook, right? When I used to be a, not full time because, you know, I helped uh, run business with my, my husband or ex-husband. Um, my focus was just like really just taking care of my family, anything outside of that. So. Before I can even start cooking, I'm cleaning first, right? And then my creativity can flow. Then I know, okay, I'm not just gonna cook two stews. Maybe I'm gonna cook four stews, huh? And then I'm gonna cook four nice stews. I'm gonna, I'm, all of a sudden my mind is gonna start working. Okay, I can freeze these two and then we can defrost that and da 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 da. So I can constantly have, you know, fresh, home cook, home cook food. So, you know, you have to set, you gotta uh, plan, because if you fail to plan, then, then you're planning to fail, okay? So finding your personal style is always be on the lookout. No matter what store you go to, maybe it's a department store, pay attention to how things are staged. Pay attention to, um, you know, stores that sell, uh, kitchen and dining and they have kitchen areas and they sell kitchen tools and pots and you know there's this kind of staging going on where it's all these pseudo things they may not necessarily sell them but these items are grouped together so you can see how you can envision how it will work for yourself right one thing that I had included in the last video that I did that didn't make it is um I, I, I know that I've seen it in a reality show, and I was shocked to see it in a reality show because I know initially um, I saw it in somebody's home many, many years ago. And quite a few people, they still do it, where, um, you know, they, they leave their dining area staged. All right. Um, for households that have a full family where they don't they do not always get to sit down together um, but whatever it is right now imagine you go to a girlfriend's house she lives by herself she has no children maybe she has one child I don't know she's living with the with the pets okay and you go there and she has her table staged and set ready to feed six people. 
Don't look at that like, ooh, that's nice. I'm gonna go do that in my house. No, don't do that, right? Because you do not know if this person is trying to manifest a type of gathering that she's looking to have, right? But don't take that information and say, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it my own style. Don't do that. Don't do that. Another thing that I put was, you know, um, because I was, I was always a plus size woman, like, you know, a young woman, you know, coming into my own and, you know, as a young adolescent and teenage and young woman in my thirties, you know, always, you know, but I was a plus size, right? So I'm a little less than I was before. And, um, one thing I always, always stuck to without fail. I can be going to church. I can be going to a party. I can go to a supermarket. Like, I'm just going to be my fabulous self. Everything, okay? But never inappropriately dressed. Ever. Ever. You know what I'm saying? So, one thing that I, I always encourage women is to tell them, or, you know, I make it in joke and everything we take from it. You know, it's just because something is made in our size, that doesn't mean that we need to buy it. Okay? Just because these, you know, these stores that sell for, for big women, for us big girls, okay, that we're twirling up, just because... No. Thank you. Go to your brother. Just because a store carries something in your size. Maybe it's a store where they didn't really put, they didn't really think about conservative women's style before they just started just having stuff just being quickly sewn up in a sweatshop for the mass market and all these random sizes. Please, just because it comes in a size 22, no sis, it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to wear it, okay? So, I'm going to do a whole video about that. I'm going to do a whole video about that. Because I want to write notes. And i got to write detailed notes about that. Okay? Um, because I'm not, I'm not a stylist. You know, a personal stylist of people. But um, I do design clothes, right? So, I'm always thinking about, like, how it is staged. How is it paired? How is it styled? How is it put together? What do they use? Chromas. So all of those things, all those little things have always been a part of me when it came to house design, right? I always knew what the housing trends were because it kind of follow a little bit of suit with fashion, you know, a couple of things. This is a whole other conversation. All right. So, you know, I don't do that, okay, guys? Let's like, like, and get rid of these, like, old tacky metal clocks. Okay, it's better for if your stove has a time as a clock on it, that is sufficient. Your cell phone, okay, or get yourself a cute little alarm clock, pretty color, something you could use in your bedroom if you want to ever set the alarm, and you know, and then you could use it in your kitchen or something, right? But these like tacky, big wall mounted situations that are like trying to like overtake the visual real estate of what's going on aesthetically in your home, let's get rid of that, okay? Don't have the wrought iron clock, but you want to do modern, like like Miami modern. Don't do that, right? You, you want to do Art Deco. That wrought iron clock still doesn't belong there, right? You want to do uh, shabby chic, uh, you might have to paint it, okay? And then you could use it, right? But let's like, let's pay attention to things, right? Don't just drop any old thing in your space and think, ooh, no. You see something on a reality show? They don't know God's style, right? Like, find your own personal style. Shop, use house, H O U Z Z dot com. Use Pinterest, okay? Those are great sounding boards. Because when you start searching and putting uh, search words that relate to your space, then you can see how other people are making their spaces work for them. So I want your space to be everything you need your space to be for you. All right? This is Providence, Providence Life Design. Stay blessed.